welcome to my channel fat taquito my friends call me jelly i use kids and journey to lose over 200 pounds my lowest was 157.7 and we're trying to get back there got the c word multiple times multiple times this year alone not mentioning last year and my weight went to 213 at least that's what it was on my birthday on march and now we're trying to get it back down <laughs> struggling hardcore it maintained 183.4 literally for months for months we're trying to get it out of there so we are doing the bbbbe um challenge with beef butter bacon eggs for 30 days i promise two weeks i'll go longer for my brain i'm saying two week periods at a time because it's just easier for my brain it's really hard for me to dedicate 30 whole days to anything right now because my life is all over the place. I This is the second round of getting uh, last set two of the girls fixed, my cats. Um, if you're new to my channel, you'll see my cats. You'll see tons of recipes. You'll see, you name it, it's a journal. Weight loss journal, daily life, family, cats, you name it. It's all here. And in this video, I come to a realization about my body. I have to face the truth. You will see that. You will see that in this video. Um, today is day... Hold on. So, I've been labeling everything a little wrong. Today is day eight is what we're going by. Um, day one was the starting of everything. So, those numbers are differently. So, I am just calling it day eight. Even though my chart says day nine. Just because day one was start date. I've confused myself pretty much with doing the whole calendar thing, but it's okay. We're, I eased into the BBB Eve the whole first week. You're supposed to just go cold turkey and do it. But because I was having to give up my collagen, and I was having to give up my heavy cream, and I was having to give up my protein shakes that I love so much, the Premier Protein, I was having to give up my Keto Chow, I was having to give up my pumpkin flavor stuff, my skinny syrups, I was, I was having to give up my collagen, Sweet Low, Stevia, like all of it, all of it, it all had to go bye-bye. All of it. All my seasonings. Everything. One reason I'm really doing this is for gut health issues. I'm hoping to lose inches. I never lose pounds on these kind of things. So we will see. I have lost a total of one pound so far. But the real reason I am doing it because I was having severe gut issues. Meaning severe heartburn, throwing up, crying every night I went to bed. It was excruciating horrible. I have GER, not just normal heartburn. Um, and my IBS started going insane again because I had IBSD. Um, and all of, like, I was having so many issues. I was having allergic reactions to foods I shouldn't be having an allergic reaction to. I was having an allergic reaction to hazelnut, like, really bad swelling of the throat. That's weird for me. Peanuts, that was weird for me. Um, friggin' lettuce. I think, um, the, it, it was all these weird things. Like, couldn't have strawberries again. Left and right ever since... I got it again in July, the C word. Um, so we are cleaning out my body. Since doing this so far, so I eased into it, meaning I went from three scoops of collagen a day down to two scoops of collagen a day on the next day, got rid of all my skinny syrups, got rid of my sweet and lows, then went down to one scoop of collagen, got rid of all my heavy creams, then went down to half a scoop of collagen. That's how I eased into it. Um, it was hard. Now, I got rid of the protein drinks the earliest in there. Very, very hard job. I'm going to not lie. Yesterday was a struggle. I did it, though. I have done it beautifully, and I'm so proud of myself. And my gut loves it, okay? Because if I have heartburn, it's for a few seconds, and it's normally because I just ate too fast or something, and then it goes away. I am not going to bed sick and almost throwing up every single night. I am not having to sleep completely upright like this, not to throw up every night. But I can't live this way, so we will, after the 30 days, start adding foods in and testing them to see what I can and can't have. Um, I've done this elimination diet multiple times, just never with bacon and stuff in it. <sighs> so that being said, it is already late at night. Let me go ahead and show you how my day's gone so far. Okay. Kind of couldn't sleep last night. Hurt my knee. I was up until 4 a.m., so I just am waking up at... One thirteen. Eighty six glucose.
0.4 ketones. All right, so there's Frey Frey. I have a major, major migraine going on, tons and tons of pressure in my head. So I am trying some MCT powder in my coffee. I know it is probably a sinus headache because the pressure is so bad. I am taking my Claritin every day, my magnesium every day, like, but this is the time of year my allergies go insane. Also, my fibromyalgia goes crazy, so I was in severe pain and joint pain yesterday, um, especially in my knee, like, I barely could walk, and it's still tons of pain. I am trying my best not to take the ibuprofen, but I do have errands I have to do today. We are going to Lidl's, Aldi's, and the meat market, if I make it there in time. Um, so, I'm not sure if they're open today. I forgot they're closed on Monday, so it's Monday. Well, we're going to Aldi's and Lidl's. I... I have to be able to function and right now it's making me extremely dizzy and I can't even hear out my ears they are just pounding Woo, like this so if I have to take one I will let y'all know that is the problem when I have to take them my weight don't budge for like a week literally literally <sighs> it messes with me it puts tons of water weight on me it makes me feel like garbage I've gotten a lot of comments when I show myself in the videos, like a full body saying I'm the, like perfect the way I am type deal. I didn't look great at my weight. Okay, so why do I want to get back into the 150s from the 180s that the C word made me get to? Well, here we go. It's very simple. Go grab. Let's just say, hold on. I'm doing the math. See how many we need to grab. Hold on. Go grab two 10 pound potato sacks and a five pound, basically. Carry it around all day long. You can't put it down. That's why. That is why. I'm over 25 pounds from my lowest, basically. Right around there. I'm not even doing the math because my head hurt too bad, so I gave up. Um, so that is why I feel it. I feel it in my hips. I feel it in my knees. I feel it in my back. My fibromyalgia is worse. I feel it getting in and out of bed, getting on and off the ground. I feel it in doing dishes. I feel it in every single moment of my life. I feel the difference in the weight. That is why. It's okay. So you, I had to decide back when I got into the 150s I in 180s the previous time like I had to come to realization I have to do this for my health not vanity because I might look great in those jeans but once they come off I hate my thighs I'm okay with my stomach I'm okay with every other part of my body other than my legs I am very not okay Okay, I wish there was a magic wand that if you did all this work, you could have the perfect body with no wrinkles, no stretch marks, no loose skin. Because that's what I want. I can't have surgery, and after watching Keto in the Chaos, plus one of my family members who had the surgery, has the same issue she does now. She actually gained a lot of the weight back because the lymphedema is so terribly bad. Um, my family member. Um, this is a distance family member. Uh, so, so even if I could go under anesthesia, that has me too scared to have skin removal surgery. I will never, ever like the way my legs, like I have had to come to the conclusion and the acceptance that I will hate the way my legs look for the rest of my life, but it's okay. We're going to continue to lose weight. For health reasons, because I was the girl who wanted to stay fat because I thought it looked better than loose skin. Did you hear that? That's pretty stupid, in my opinion. That's a stupid statement, that I'd rather be unhealthy and fat and not do anything because I thought it looked better than loose skin. Okay, I can't scan loose skin at all. And my legs... <laughs> Because they were so, so freaking huge. I mean, my legs were the size, each one, each thigh was the size of a, 
a 300 pound person's waist usually like literally not gonna lie here my stomach at the highest I could get to on measuring was about 74 inches around but my thighs were so so huge they were bigger than my stomach I wished anything I had those is that pictures to show you because the beach pictures and stuff it doesn't do it justice because I actually gained a hundred and something pounds after those beach pictures um I don't think I have any pictures even closely near my highest they're all in the 300s and not in like 368 I don't even got a picture that big um those pictures are all like low 300s I really wished I had my one set of pictures, but like I said, my ex was in it. They would never let me have copies, and I didn't own my own camera or phone back then, so I didn't have any of my own pictures. Um, y'all. Y'all. I can't believe my mindset was that. And I had to, had to accept that I'm going to have loose skin on my legs for the rest of my life, and that's going to be okay. I will never be able to walk around on a beach in the bathing suit, maybe when I'm older, but I cannot, I can't, my brain just won't let me. Um, it's really hard. I can't go to pools in public because of that reason. I really hate my legs. Really do. Um, and I don't mind my stomach. I hope I still like my stomach when I lose the weight again. Um, because I loved it when I was in the 156 or sevens, whatever, 57, because I didn't have any loose skin, really. Um, but I stretched it out again, getting the C word and gaining all the weight and feeling like garbage. Now we're trying to fix it. Now we're desperately trying to fix it. I'm in the desperate mode of wanting to at least be in the low 70s or high 60s. I'm in the desperate mode of, oh my gosh, I'm not even going to cheat for Thanksgiving or Christmas because I want it gone Spending a year in a higher weight body has made me miserable. Not gonna lie. I have way more headaches, y'all. So many more headaches. They're so upset. Hold on, I gotta let a little monster in. She won't, or he won't stop crying. I think it's Piper, though. It is Piper. I thought I was recording letting her in so y'all could see her, and I totally guess I didn't. The headache is so bad I can't even focus. Um, that's why I'm all over the place in this video. If you go carry around potatoes, it'll tell you. Like, I don't even have to explain it. You'll be like, okay, never mind. I get it. I totally get it now. I'm having my black coffee. Um, I don't know why Dino's thing keeps going off. I had to come in here immediately. I got on the scale. I'm still 182, well, 182.2. So, I guess a few points down but like I said I am not getting excited until I'm in the 170s and I stay there because this happens and then I go back to just normal keto and then boom um I honestly thought I would lose weight faster than this I'm really thinking it's the bacon but I can't give up the bacon right now because I am do not have time to I was gonna go buy steaks today but I forgot the meat market is closed on Mondays um, I do have frozen states, so I'm going to unfreeze them for tomorrow because then I don't have to eat the bacon, right? I'll have tons of steak. I'll just eat a pound or two of steak a day and see what happens versus, but then I need the fat. So then I got to put some eggs on. That's the problem. When you can't eat the fat of the beef, it becomes a bit of a headache. Y'all, I'm going to go lay down. I cannot concentrate because my head is blowing so much. And it's because of my neck, too. Having to lay in the bed, and right now I'm sitting up on a stool. Um, the way I'm sleeping on the couch, I have horrible neck pains, which is affecting my head as well. <sighs> I can't wait until 14 days is over. It's not even day four yet. So, I took the ibuprofen. I don't have a choice. The ear pain so bad that... Even my fan is making me want to scream. Um, and I have things I have to do. It'll be the first day I've gotten out of the house in over four or five days. Um, I gotta get the errands done. And there would be no way I could drive like this. It's gonna take about an hour for the medicine to kick in. You can literally see how glassy my eyes are because that is how bad the pressure migrainey sinus headache whatever you want to call it um because it's acting like a sinus headache with all the pressure 
spray my sinuses are messed up, but it has the migraine where I can't see the light, the light in the room is killing me, sounds are killing me, smells, um, even talking right now. So I am going to try to take an hour nap while this kicks in so I do not throw up. It's, migraines make me so nauseous. Yeah, when I tell you that when I take ibuprofen within an hour, anywhere 45 minutes to an hour and a half, whatever pain I am in is gone, whether it's pressure, congestion in my nose, horrible pain from my knee, from hurting it, from everything, all pain is gone. Why? You might be saying, well, it's not a decongestion. How can it get rid of pressure and congestion? Because it is anti-inflammatory. Meaning, if you have inflammation somewhere in your body, it zaps it. I, that's, I, I used to take it all the time just for that. I know my inflammation's crazy, not only because of my sinuses, but my knee. It has arthritis in it. And it does pop in and out of socket. And when I have severe pain, I know the inflammation is going crazy. So it might affect me on the scale, but it allows me to live. It allows me to live. I'm about to make bacon. There was no beef anywhere I went today and no eggs. It was weird at all. No eggs. Even the kind I can't have. No eggs. In three different places I went. So I only have a few eggs left. We're gonna use them sparingly. I'm gonna make some bacon. It'll be the first meal of the day. I am starving, so hungry, but I did not have time to eat today. And it is now ready, almost seven. So let me make that bacon, that air fryer. Did you have more bacon cook in the oven? Might make some eggs. I don't know, I'll show you what I eat. But so far, this is what I'm gonna eat, and it is seven ten. All right, we're doing it a little different. I didn't stay in the room all day today because I had to go do errands. So right now I am out here. It is nine o'clock at night. And when he's done watching his show and doing stuff, we will switch places and I will be sleeping with the girls tonight. The girls are my cats um, because they have gotten fixed and someone's got to be in there with them. They sleep in the bed so there's not room for both of us. And someone needs to be out here to keep the other ones from screaming all night um, because they want one of us. Now, I think there will be a problem with Piper because her... I am probably crybaby because they have been crying a lot the last couple of weeks and I have to deal with them at night and cuddle them. Especially Piper. Ever since she got fixed, she's having separation anxiety. She won't be away from me. She's literally sitting right here in front of me, staring at me right now. Like, it is so, so funny. Piper! She's in a trance. It's weird. But anyways... Why cry, baby? Did you hear mommy talk about you? <laughs> so, I did eat some more bacon, about five more slices. Uh, the one bag of bacon was kind of loose. Not like crazy loose, and I guess my mom's bacon at her house is that loose, but I only like to eat it when it's airtight. I got really scared because I've had um, food poisoning before. So my dad's going to eat it. I made a whole pack for him, cooked in the oven, and he's going to eat it. And he never had oven bacon before. And I was making sure he liked it. And he said, oh, this is really good. And it's not greasy. Because if it's greasy, it's soggy, y'all. We don't like soggy bacon. And, but he doesn't like overcooked. So I did not overcook his at all. I actually pulled it out when it was still, um, very undercooked for my opinion. But you just wrap it in paper towels to soak up any grease that might be there and put it in a, a little baggie. Take it down there and it's fully cooked by the time you open it up. And I cooked it on an air frying pan. So it's the way I used to cook it before watching Wendy and Harry. And I think I'm going to go back to the air frying pan because I noticed I couldn't eat oven bacon anymore. It was just because it cooks in the grease. I can't eat bacon. I can't eat foods that cook in its own fat. Like it makes me sick. Um... So I put on the air frying pan in the oven, still 400 degrees like everyone, still anywhere from 20 to 40 minutes, and it just drips all the grease off. It doesn't cook in its grease and it has tons on the bottom. Now it doesn't let all the grease go like the air fryer does. The air fryer just sucks that grease completely out of it and I can eat it much better in the air fryer. That's why I believe when it says bacon has so many calories and so many fats, no, no, because I can cook eight pieces of bacon and pull out almost a whole a cup of bacon grease from it in the air fryer. Literally fill a whole entire cup from eight slices. 
because the way I'm cooking it cooks out that fat, which cuts out a lot of calories. When you cook it in the oven or on your frying pan and it cooks in the grease, that's another story. You don't tend to get as much. Um, but when you are literally cooking it where the fat drains off and doesn't cook it in it, you're not getting all the fat you think you are. You're not getting all the sodium you think you are. You're not getting all the calories you think you are or apps as you are because you are literally cooking it totally different. Like, there, and it is a huge difference. It's a difference in texture, a difference in taste because it's so much better cooked in the oven in its own fat. Oh my gosh, it's so soggy, so yummy, so fattening, tasting, but it makes me sick. Yeah. What? Come here. Bear Bear came crying. Look, Bear Bear, you want to see yourself? No. Bear Bear looks just like Sharky, but she's little. There you are. Mwah. She got. She's one of the ones that got fixed a couple weeks ago. So, I am not judging this program at all, except I'm judging that it's amazing for my stomach. Um, but I'm not judging the weight loss part of it or anything like that until I can add some exercise. Um, also, I'm having struggles. I'm trying to up my calories to 15, 16, 1700, and I'm having trouble even getting to 13, 1400 because I am not a big eater. And my calories were like six, seven, eight, nine, twelve hundred 1200 at the most. I have struggled all summer trying to raise my calories. And not as in struggling, I'm afraid I'm not going to lose weight because my weight maintained even as I shot it higher and higher. But for me, when eating more of a ketobor, carnivore type diet, because I can't eat sharky, because I can't eat the fat of the meat, it's much harder for me to take in calories. I was like, why is my bag moving? And out pops a sharky. Get out of there. That's for food, not for your nasty, dirty butt. Sharky, that is not your toy. Just not the sharky toy. See, he looks just like Bear. Bear is his, his little girl. Are you daddy? Come on, mommy's got to put this away so y'all can't get in it. Oh my gosh, you're heavy. Oh, hold on. This is the life of cat, y'all. Come on, get out. Come on, get out. Get out of the bag. Out of the bag. Thumper, tell your daddy to get out of the bag. Sharky, get out of the baggy. Sharky, get out the baggy. Not, no, it's not yours. Mommy will buy you something. Here I stole my hamper. My hamper has become theirs. Thumper, you wanna say hi to people? Come on, you always make people feel better. You're so cute. Thumper. No, I'm not going to say hi to people. Oh, hi, Thumper. Now you're going to say hi? I can't let you out. Daddy means going to trade places and he might sleep at the door, but not so dead. This is my zoo. They've taken over my living room. It is like a obstacle course for them. They moved this stuff here. I had it all over by their tree tucked under nicely they moved their triangles they moved the little scratchy pose they moved, they moved this like i y'all my cats are crazy they can move anything they just grab it with their teeth and starts moving stuff boo boo shark no <clears throat> Also, I know I have for the last year had some flare up with allergies, probably due to so many cats in the house, but they all make me sneeze and stuff. Um, but my system's probably getting used to them. I was never expecting this many. Okay, I thought I had three, maybe four, not eight. But they are almost seven months old, and we are very attached to them now, and they are very attached to us. Like, insanely. And no matter what Dino says, he's the one that makes us stay in that room and watch them after their surgery is so good because he cares so much about them and he doesn't want them to split themselves open or get sick or hurt themselves or get infected or, or kill themselves even. The other night, Freya was so still and out of it, he thought she was dead and he started to freak out. He thought he was going to have to bury her. She was just sound asleep. It was after her anesthesia, which did make us a little nervous because there has been... um 
cats that die after anesthesia. Uh, so we watched all night because she was struggling a little. But she is doing great because she never shuts her mouth up. Right now she must finally have passed out because that girl has screamed all day long. All day. She wants out here. She hates being in that room. And the funny thing is, when we don't let her in that room, she screams the whole entire time to get in that room. 14 days of her screaming to get in the room. Now 14 days screaming to get out of the room because we wouldn't let her in when the other girls got fixed. So, yeah. Yep, this is my life right now. We will, oh, I guess I got makeup smearing. <sighs> I have a lot of plans this month that got erased. We are supposed to go to the state fair. We are supposed to go look at the uh, changing of the leaves because they already started. We were supposed to do so much, go to the zoo, and all of that got erased. So we are going to have to squeeze in Halloween stuff in a three-day thing. 27th is a witch's walk. No, I'm not a witch. It's just fun. You just dress up in costumes. 99% of the people are just normal people dressed up in costumes. And you take a long walk in a witch's outfit. Literally, it's a walk. And my kid wants to do it. And I'll do anything to get her to walk. Okay, she doesn't even like to get out of bed. She wants to do this. We're doing it. And we're doing the zombie walk the very next night. You dress up like a zombie. And you do the same walk through town. Boom. It's exercise in a fun crazy way um then the uh, next night we're going to a botanical garden at night and we're going to walk those trails because they're going to be lit up with lanterns i also got to see what night of the week we have the downtown where you do the zombie and the witches walk they also have a jack-o-lantern walk through there as well i gotta figure out what day that is um so we are going to be like bam, 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 like tons of activity day after day after day. And that's why I don't know if I can go with the BBBE. Um, I could do it for the zombie walks and that real easy. But I don't know if I can get away with it after the 29th because we're supposed to go out to eat. We're definitely going out to eat for Halloween. Um, usually where we go does not have like anything I can really eat. It's usually a cracker barrel and y'all I just do not. Their eggs make me sick. It's not organic eggs. It's just plain eggs. I usually eat a salad um, and that will defeat everything, right? If I eat this. So I don't know. I'm, I'm in my head. I'm stressed about it. Will it make me look like a failure? Will it erase everything? What should I do? But at the same time, my daughter's 17. She'll be 18 next year. Um, how often will she want to go out for Halloween dinners? Because we've done it since she was a baby. Um, my dad gets really, really sick and he's old and he's got a lot of issues. Like his blood sugar last night was 500. Um, that's dangerous. He's had heart surgery already. Um, how many more Halloweens? These are things I'm starting to think about. I'm not saying, oh, I'll go eat non-keto food. I'm just saying... I, that's why I originally said I could only do 14 days of strict BBBE um, because for Halloween we are going out. Now that will equal more than 14 days because let's see if I've done it. Today's the eighth of the day. Technically it's nine and I've just lost track. I went back through my videos. It's technically day nine, but I didn't call day one, day one. So it's really messed me up a whole lot. So that's 10, 13, 14. That's at least 14 days from now. So that would have had me doing it for um, basically 24 days or so. Um, if I'm doing math right. Because that's why I said 21 days for sure. So we will see. We will address this again closer to time closer to time because I wasn't going to do the BBBE at all at all um but then I saw how it was helping people with different issues and my stomach was so messed up so and it takes about 30 to 90 days to heal yourself so some people like me 30 days might not even be long enough it might be 90 which I cannot do at this time of the year because we are holiday people, okay? And so, we have a lot going on. You just, just so much, y'all. So much, tons of events. 
So, I'm guaranteeing the 14 days, which it will be over that. It'll be 21 with no problem, which will be three weeks. After that, we will come back and keep discussing. Like I said, 14 days I'm promising. 21 will probably be the promise. And after that, we will discuss. Um, I'm defrosting some steak. I want steak tomorrow. Even if I can't cook it on the grill, I'll just cook in the air fryer or something. I am sick of just bacon uh, because of the cats. I don't have a lot of time to cook. I really did love the hamburger egg bacon thing I made yesterday and the day before, but I am almost out of eggs. I wanted to try um, just eggs and steak for a while and see what the results would be because I'm mixing up the food. So instead of having all the foods in one day, I'm mixing them up and seeing what works best for my body. Um, but we cannot find eggs. So, and I don't know how many I have left. But I shut up right now. I don't think I will be eating anything else because eating all that, the bacon out of the oven did cause me a little bit of heartburn. I have a tiny bit of burn in my throat this whole time. Not like excruciating. I'm also having trouble finding that I'm not hungry. Even though I'm down to one um, coffee a day, sometimes two. I am not hungry at all. I am thirsty. I'm insanely, insanely, insanely thirsty. I cannot get enough water, which that's probably what gave me the heartburn. When I drink water, I get horrible heartburn, but I am drinking so much water because I am so insanely thirsty. My mouth is dry. My lips are dry. My eyes feel completely dry. I feel like all my fluid left my body. I don't know why. I'm so, so, so thirsty. Now, I will say one thing about this challenge so far is... This is my skin with no makeup. I have mascara on, y'all. Don't even have lip liner. I've washed my face already for the day. I would say it's making my skin glow. Like, literally glow. So, for my skin and stomach, so far it's winter. And I have had floaters my whole entire life, but I've noticed that my floaters are way less which is weird because this is usually a time of year they are insane. Um, so that is a win as well. So I'm going to shut up now because I know he's going to have me go in that room soon. And there's a few things I want to get done before then.